Hi everyone. This afternoon we start a new series of videos and at the same time a new stage for On Wheels TV as a communication project. Um, we start with a series of uh, videos where we put two drivers, two real motorsports drivers testing um, sim racing content for On Wheels TV providing, in, providing us and you with their feedback. Um, this video I'm publishing, I'm doing now, the presentation video, a presents video, will be available on Facebook, sorry guys, on YouTube, yeah, only on YouTube, on the On Wheels TV uh, YouTube channel, but then the um, five or six videos we will be releasing with these two drivers will be um, available, some on YouTube, and two of them will be available only through uh, Patreon on Vimeo, so you those two specific videos, uh, you to see them, you will need to become patrons of uh, of the On Wheels TV community, and um, each video will cost you roughly one euro. Uh, I do believe, and I do believe, uh, although uh, the content is uh, is going to be extremely uh, worthy of that small effort on your behalf. As you know, this weekend um, in Portimão at the um, Autódromo Internacional do Algarve, the, you, you is taking place the uh, four hours of Portimão for the European Le Mans series. Um, and um, this week, while drivers and teams are preparing for that, um, I was lucky enough to be able to reach my great time um, my great friend uh, which I know for I don't know maybe 20 years since he started in go-karting and I was a professional photographer my good friend Philip Albuquerque who yesterday was able to uh, finish on pole position for this uh, for our race which is taking place as as I speak with you so Philip Albuquerque is someone that I know for quite some time I know he has a um, a cockpit at home um, where he practices and um, it will I thought maybe I can bring Philip here um, and I called him he was available just for a tiny uh, part of the afternoon the next day I called him um, and um, he came here he just had one demand well demand uh, he just asked me one thing which was can I bring my teammate Phil Anson? So Phil Anson is uh, one of his two teammates in the FIOEC. In the FIOEC, um, Philip Albuquerque competes in a United Autosports uh, Oreca 07, and he has um, Paul Di Resta and Phil Anson as uh, teammates. However, in the European Le Mans series, um, he only races with Phil Anson. Uh, so I immediately said yes. Phil Anson is a very young and talented um, driver, one of the rising stars for the future, and um, I was lucky enough to have them uh, at my place um, the day, the next day after I called him, and they were here, um, and um, they will be uh, during the next days be presented to you guys in review videos, uh, testing specific content for. Uh, several that is available for several sim racing platforms. So Philip Albuquerque will be um, on our Factor 2 testing the Oreca 07, the officially licensed Oreca 07 from Studio 397, and the official at the officially licensed Sebring International Raceway, also from Studio 397. Then the same Philip Albuquerque, because he had. Um, well, I wanted in this video to um, put this, put Philippe Albuquerque, which is the main character for, for this content, um, I wanted to put him in, um, in, in, sim, in sim racing platforms driving content which was part of his real uh, development as a driver, his real life development as a driver. So you will be seeing Philippe Albuquerque also driving in um, the third party content now available for Automobilista, the Cartodromo Internacional de Palmela, the Palmela International Cartodrome, uh, developed by Grid Kart Brazil 
uh, at the official request of the Cartodromo Internacional de Palmela, you will be seeing Philippe driving a cart in the track in Automobilista. Um, the reason for that is he, he started his racing career racing in Portugal um, in karting. He did that for several years and uh, he raced several times at the Cartodromo Internacional de Palmela. So th since this is the first time a Portuguese track is available in a sim officially, uh, officially uh, licensed by the kart track and um, he raced he started racing in Portugal it's fair that we did put, that we were able to put him testing the track testing the kart and providing us with his feedback on both then um, you will be seeing also Philippe Albuquerque on iRacing testing the um, Formula Renault 3.5 at Silverstone um, so as you know uh, and those of you that don't know here is the information Philip Albuquerque um, raced the World Series of Renault um, and in his first year he was Rookie of the Year racing with, uh, uh, with for Red Bull um, in the Red Bull development um, team um, and also he won the Race of Champions which uh, allowed him uh, he, he, he performed uh, well, he drove to perfection, one of his best performances ever, and uh, that allowed him to be hired by Audi to compete for them several for several years in the DTM and the FIOAC uh, in GT3 ch series, uh, such as the Blanc Pain Endurance series. So um, we wanted to put Philip Albuquerque testing the Formula Renault 3.5 at Silverstone, which he did, uh, and therefore. Um, we completed a cycle of three track of, of, three, of uh, three tests at three different sims. Um, we wanted to do it with more simulation platforms, but uh, time was of the essence here. And uh, well, these two guys were busy ha and are, have been busy throughout the week, um, and therefore they have a lot of um, uh, sponsored uh, compromises and other stuff. And so we didn't have that much time to to do this with them and we kindly thank them for for their availability they were really really uh, kind with us and um, I, I could never thank them enough for that Phil Anson will be driving we, you will be seeing Phil Anson driving the um, Oreca 07 at Le Mans on our Factor 2 so uh, again an officially licensed car in an office an officially licensed track um, just talking a little bit about Phil Anson, I gotta tell you that he's um, a young rising star, 20 years old, uh, really young, young guy. Um, Philip is also young, but compared to Phil, well, Phil is a veteran. Philip is a veteran compared to, F to Phil Anson. Uh, however, um, these two seem to connect really well, uh, both on and off track. And uh, so, so that you know, in case you don't, Phil Anson was the youngest uh, driver ever to become champion in the Asian Le Mans series then he was the youngest driver so far to win uh, at the European Le Mans series and he was the youngest driver uh, so far to finish in the top 10 in the 24 hours of Le Mans um, that's an outstanding performance for a 20 year old guy um, he is also a very nice uh, person and he was kind enough to even um, tell us during this um, three hour testing he was kind enough to tell us that it was his first time in a sim he didn't even know there was um, there, there were sim, sim racing platforms out there for the public he tested sometimes in the team uh, sim but he, he confided confided uh, to us and you will listen that in one of the videos that um, it's quite different um, and that the sim racing uh, experience he had here was much more uh, rich anyway so before we start um, showing so this is just the first video so um, w tomorrow we will start releasing the specific review video videos on each item I gotta I must um, I must remind you that most of those videos will be avail will be available for free 
on YouTube, on the On Wheels TV YouTube channel, which I um, advise you, if you accept my humble advice, to subscribe. And um, two of those videos uh, will only be available on Vimeo through Patreon to On Wheels TV Patreon members. So I hope you can join, and obviously those will be, will be the two more important videos, uh, but they are really uh, intense in terms of the, of the history they provide. Um, finally, I would just like um, to thank um, On Wheels TV's sponsors and partners uh, because they have been really um, close to us and helping us improve in everything in our project. Um, I would like to thank Algori Simulations that uh, provides us with the, uh, with the dry, direct drive wheel we are using and which we will be uh, reviewing really soon. We are almost ready to publish our review on the on the direct drive wheel we use. Also, Algori Simulations for the F1S Simulage we use in all our uh, video approaches and also uh, ProSimTech um, who provided us with two excellent uh, seats. Um, one of those seats is uh, is on our left. You don't see it in this camera angle, but you see it. You have seen it already, I'm sure, several times in the video, in the footage that we are also showing uh, you guys of the um, of the two guys here testing with us, Philip Alpkerk and Phil Lenson. I'm probably, I'm sure that you already saw footage of Phil sitting in the other. Um, ProSimTech seat. And also, uh, last but not least, these seats are connected, uh, or this seat uh, is connected to a cockpit um, from, our, from our official cockpit supplier, Symmetic. Um, we use uh, an impressive Symmetic from Symmetic Simulation Cockpits. We use the um, best seller K2 that continues proving it, uh, it's really reliable, good, and um, available in terms of financially available, affordable, if I can say. So this is the first of um, a, a series of videos in the future, towards the future of On Wheels TV. We will be releasing videos about sim racing, about motorsports, about the car industry, um, about... We have a lot of interesting content that we will be bringing to you because we are um, intelligent and we believe that our imagination can bring very interesting content to the public. Um, and I hope you can join us in our uh, new journey, uh, be it with YouTube, be it with Patreon, Vimeo, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. We're, we're everywhere. Yeah, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this. Bye-bye.